we're going to look at a really great plugin by Jispo from Finland and it allows us to create globes in QGIS. If you haven't installed it already, go to plugins, manage and install plugins, search for globe and then install the plugin. Once you've done that, go to the plugins menu, globe builder and you can click build globe view. Here's a little tip. If you do that and it's a bit small on the right hand side and it's a bit squished, just left click the name where it says globe builder. I'm holding down the mouse button here and then I'm moving it to sort of the middle of the screen and when the whole blue area is highlighted, I'll let go of the left mouse button. That just means I've got the full panel visible. The first thing I'll usually do here is click the load data to a map button. So this is not a globe, but this just gives us countries and a graticule grid. What I'll do here is I'm going to zoom to Australia and then I've selected center of the current view. So I'm going to center the globe based on the center of the current view. You can do it based on coordinates, so any global coordinates, or the center of the current view, or a layer, or you can go to geocoding and, and search for anywhere on Earth. But let's do it based on the center of the current view. From here, I'm going to go to add the globe to a map. And then let's zoom out, and you can see what happens. We are focused on Australia there. If we wanted it to be focused on New Zealand, I can zoom to New Zealand, and I can click add the globe to a map and it does that. If I want to do coordinates, let's just say 50, let's say, let's say 0 and 51. I'll hit add the globe to a map. So that's sort of centered on the UK. Now, if you want to do geocoding and I want to type in here Mexico City, I can do that Mexico City type search double click Mexico City, or select Mexico City, sorry, add the globe to a map. We're focused on Mexico City. Let's just type in Melbourne, search Melbourne in Australia, click add the globe to a map. And there we have it centered on Melbourne, Australia. There's other things you can do, of course, you can change the styles of layers here, you can change the colors, of course, it's probably best, once you've started using it, just to go to the Globe Builder homepage and just read the documentation. But really, just experiment in your own time. It's super useful, it's really great, and you can add globes to layouts or uh, any other part of QGIS. And that is how you do a custom globe view in QGIS.